On this episode of Hill City Happenings, we learn more about summer programs that are available to our community. Also, we take a look at upcoming Juneteenth celebrations. Coming up next. I'm your host Shaquille Cook and this is Hill City Happenings. Are you looking for some fun activities to get involved in during the summer? Well look no further. Parks and Recs have plenty of opportunities and programs that are available to our youth and adults. Let's talk to Hannah and Avery and find out more about these unique opportunities. Well for starters, there's a lot and if I were to list every single summer opportunity for um, toddlers, teens, adults, and seniors, we'd probably be here all day. So some of my favorite that I'm going to talk about today are our pottery, uh, our senior center, we've got dance programs for tots, teens, adults, we've got camps galore, and then of course we've also got our nature and outdoor folk who do things such as paddling, they do such, thing, such things such as archery, um, they actually open up Ivy Creek boat rentals uh, in the start of June, and they do a lot of fun things to get people outside during summer. So right now we've got plenty of camps that are starting and if you want to register for a camp you do need to do so soon because they are filling up really, really quickly. Uh, we've got our make and bake camp, we've got our culinary camp, we've got a discovery camp where our kids actually get to go around they get to try canoeing, they get to try painting, they get to try pottery, they get to try a wide variety of different activities. Um, and then for teens, we've got things such as dance, we've got things such as pottery, and it's a mix of teens and adults that are in these classes. Um, so pottery, dance, athletics, of course, for teens. So some of our programs are free and some of them do require a fee. Um, it really depends on what sort of program you're looking at. A lot of our senior programs are free, um, but most of our camps do require a fee. So it's really going to depend on program to program if there will be a fee or not. And you can find that out by going to lynchburgparksandrec.com. So here at Miller Park Pool, we offer swim lessons for all age groups, um, youth, children, infants, and adults. Um, they will be taking place here at Miller Park Pool and all the information in regards to the different types of classes, the age levels, and the pricing can be found on lynchburgparksandrec.com. So currently, the pool is only on, open on weekends until June 11th, and then starting June 12th, which is a Monday, we are open seven days a week from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. There are fees associated with the pool. Um, it's $3 for a child ages three and up, um, and then also with our adult and youth and children aquatic classes in regards to swim lessons. There are fees associated with that program, but the city also has a scholarship program. So if you're able to bring the uh, proper documentation, we can supplement the cost of that program for you. That way no um, economic barriers are a factor in regards to getting people registered to swim, which we believe is a life-saving skill. We definitely want to offer a lot of programs to all different age groups within our community, especially a lot of the teens. We have a ton of programs for teens and young adults here in the community in regards to what we offer here in athletics, what we have in aquatics. Um, we have part-time jobs for the aquatic department starting at the age of 15. Um, it's very important to find positive extracurricular activities for those teens during those hours of the day um, before they're able to have to go home in the evening before the curfew starts. There is something within Parks and Recreation for everybody. A lot of and all of our vast offerings can be found in the program guide, which goes to every single mailbox within the city of Lynchburg zip code. And also online, you can find a digital copy. We also have a very active social media page, and we also have a very vast and expansive website at lynchburgparksandrec.com that shows a lot of the offerings we have within the city, not only with Parks and Recreation, but also some of the park programs here too. Even though our city currently has a curfew for those who are under the age of 18, as you can tell, we have plenty of opportunities for our youth to get involved. June 19th, otherwise known as Juneteenth, we celebrate the end to slavery here in the United States. And on June 18th, Silent Witnesses will be hosting an event here in the city of Lynchburg that will enlighten us on the history of enslavement here in Hill City. Let's find out more information about it. Even though Juneteenth is a national holiday, 
There's so much local history here that connects to that holiday and to the history of enslavement. And a lot of people are surprised to learn that between 40 and 50 percent, so almost half of our city before the Civil War, was enslaved. And those were African Americans, people of African descent who were enslaved, who lived and worked here in our city. And it probably is not obvious walking around or reading existing history of our city. So it's really important to us to be able to raise awareness about that and to elevate those stories and those voices and to share what we know. And people can do this, of course, at our event, but also by coming to the Lynchburg Museum, going to the Legacy Museum of African American History, other sites like Old City Cemetery and Historic Sandusky, uh, places where this history exists. And there's so much to learn. This is just the very beginning. In this city, we've celebrated Juneteenth for several years, and each year the celebration is bigger and bigger. This year it'll start Friday evening, and it'll end on Monday. Each day we'll have a special event. Friday, starting out at Old City Cemetery, there'll be a jazz concert. Following that, there'll be a program over at Court Street Baptist Church. On Saturday, the 17th, we'll be at Miller Park, from, two, from 10 to 2 p.m. And on Sunday will be our event, Silent Witnesses, which will start in the afternoon and we'll have an art auction and dinner. Then Monday evening over at the Academy at 7.30, there'll be another event. And all of those events are tied into the Juneteenth Coalition, the celebration of freedom and an opportunity for people to make their own choices and live their lives the way they wanted to. Well, that wraps up this episode. Till next time, I'm your host, Shaquille Cook, and this is Hill City Happenings.